71 through 77 odd. Let's jump right into these. The directions for 39 to 46 say to solve. Okay, so we're going to type this into our calculator, okay? But notice we have a base 2. Our calculator only does base 10. So remember the change of base formula. We take the word log plus this number here, the argument. Divided by log. My pen's not working very well, guys. Log and this number here. And there we go. Now, if you want to put a base 10 like this, you can because they are base 10s, okay? But for the rest of the homework problems, I'm not going to do that. All right? And so, um, there we go. We have log of 9 divided by log of 2. So, with my calculator, I'm going to hit um, log 9, enter, divided by uh, log 2, enter, and you will get 3.1. 1699. If you round, you'll get this. Moving on to number 40. Um, okay, we have the log base 4 of 7. So up top we put log of 7 divided by the logarithm of 4. Okay, so calculator log of 7, enter, divided by log of 4, enter, and you will get 1.403677. 461, if you round that to three places, you'll get 1.404, number 41. Uh, notice we do not have a base of 10, so we cannot use our calculator um, with the, in the form that it's in. So we have to use a change of base formula. So the log of 10 divided by the logarithm of 1.4. So here we go. Log of 10, enter divided by log of 1.4, enter, and you'll get 6.843313779. If you round to three places, you will get 6.843. Moving on to number 42, notice we do not have a base of 10. If we did have a base of 10, we could just type into our calculator the way that it was. We have a base of 5, so we'll have to use a change of base formula. So logarithm of 2 divided by logarithm of 5. Okay, so here we go. Log of 2, enter, divided by log of 5, enter, 0 0.4306765581. If you run the three places, you'll get 0 0.431. 0 0.431. I'm not sure what happened there. Here we go. 0 0.431. All right. Number 43. Okay, notice we do not have a base of 10, so our calculator will not solve this logarithm the way that it's written, so we'll have to change it. We're going to have to take the log of 20 divided by the log of 3. So log 20, enter, divided by log of 3, enter, and you will get 2.72683302. If you're on the three decimal places, you'll get 2.727. 2.727. All right, moving on to number 44. Notice we do not have a base of 10. So because we do not have a base of 10, we have to change this form. We're going to have to take the logarithm of 10 divided by the logarithm of 0.8. And there we go. So log of 10, enter, divided by log of 0.8. Enter, and we're getting negative 0.319, if you round correctly, negative 10.319. Moving on to number 45, notice, well, right away, look, guys, it's no solution. We're done. You can never take the logarithm of zero or a negative number. And we are taking the logarithm of negative 3, log base 6 of negative 3, or log of negative 3 with base 6. If this problem would have been written like this, you would also say no solution, because you cannot take the logarithm of a negative number or of 0. Number 46, my base is not 10. Now, if it was 10, I could just type this in my calculator, log of 6, and be done. But it's not, so I'm going to have to rewrite this so that uh, my calculator will work this out. So the logarithm of 
F6. And guys, I'm not that bad at writing up this pen's not working very well, so logarithm of six divided by the logarithm of one fourth. Alright, logarithm of six divided by logarithm of one fourth. So log six enter divided by log of one divided by four or one fourth or point two five, however you want to do it. And we will get negative one point two nine two. Negative one point two nine two. Alright, moving on now to the graphing problems, okay? Step one, I told you to take the argument and set it equal to zero. Here's your base, here's your argument. So take your argument, set it equal to zero, and solve. There is no solving. So step one is to find is to take the argument, set it equal to zero, and solve, and that'll give you your vertical asymptote. So my vertical asymptote is at zero. Alright. Now the graph of this function is either going to lie on the right side over here or the left side of that asymptote. How do you know which one? Well guys, come on, think about it. Pick a number to the right of this like one. Pick a number to the left of it like negative one. And see which one of those numbers you could use. For example, put negative one in for x. Can you take the logarithm of negative one? Of course not. So you know the graph is not going to be on this side over here. It's going to be on this side over here. So now that you know that, let's go ahead and um, plot some points here, or put some points into our table of values. Okay, now, obviously I'm going to work to the right. So I'm going to get real close to this asymptote. I'm going to put point one. And then I'm going to put one, two, three, and four. It's that simple, okay? It really is that simple. So let's type these in quickly and get this done, okay? If I want to put point one in for x, would that not be? Now listen, come on, guys. If I have logarithm base eight of point one, is that not log of point one divided by the log of eight? Sure it is. So log point one enter divided by log of 8 enter and I'm getting negative 1.11 rounded. Now next if I'm going to put uh, 1 in uh, if I'm going to put a 1 in for x right here then I would have logarithm of 1 divided by logarithm of 8. So log of 1 enter divided by log of 8 enter. So we're going to get 0. Alright. Now let's substitute 2 in for x. Alright. So we'll put a 2 here. That would be logarithm of 2 divided by the logarithm of 8. So log 2 enter divided by log 8 enter. Point 3 repeating. So point three 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 three. Now let's substitute 3 in for x. So that would be the logarithm of 3 divided by the logarithm of 8. So log 3 enter divided by log 8 enter. And we'll get 0.53. And then we'll substitute 4 in for x very quickly. That would be the logarithm of 4 divided by the logarithm of 8. So log 4 enter divided by log 8 enter. 0.6 repeating. And so here we go. Let's plot the points. At point 1, I go down to negative 1.11. And then at 1, I'm at 0. At 2, I'm at point 3. At 3, I'm at point 5. And 4, I'm at point 6. Now it is going to continue. There is no horizontal asymptote. Okay, eventually, this thing will cross 1 and keep getting higher and higher. Okay? And of course, it curves down this way also getting closer and closer to the asymptote but never crossing it. So there you go guys. Not difficult at all. It's really not. Okay, let's move on to the next problem, 73. Now thankfully this is a base 10, so we can type all these directly into our calculator. Okay, but first of all, let's not get out of ourselves. Step one is to take the argument. Here's your base. Here's your argument. Take your argument, set it equal to zero, and solve. Divide both sides by 10. X equals zero. 
So right off the bat, I know that my vertical asymptote, my vertical asymptote is going to be at zero like the last problem. So I'll put my dotted line there, and that's going to be the line that the graph cannot cross. All right. Here's my argument, all right? 
So I take my argument and I set it equal to zero and I solve. So my vertical asymptote is at one. Got it? One. So I'm going to go ahead and put a vertical asymptote at one. Positive one. Now remember, the graph is going to take place either on the left side of that or the right side. Okay, so let's try. Um, I can put zero in or I can put two in. And let's see which one works. If I put a zero in for x, what's zero minus one? negative 1. Well, I cannot take the logarithm. It would look like this. I cannot take the logarithm of negative 1. So I know I'm not going over here. The graph's going to be over here on the right side. So now I know which numbers to use for my table of values, okay? So, um, now remember, we go right barely past the asymptote. So this is 1. Go barely past. That's 1.1. And then we'll put in two, three, four, and five. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of this so we have some room to work here. And here we go. All right. We're going to put in 1.1. 1.1. So now I would have log base two of 1.1 minus 1 is 0.1. Now notice I don't have a voice. I don't have a base 10, so I'm going to have to type into my calculator log of 0.1, enter, divided by log of 2, enter, and I will get negative 3.3. Now let's substitute in 2 for x. So I have 2 minus 1. Well, that's going to be log base 2 of 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, that should give you 0, remember? That's a shortcut I've taught you. Anytime you take the logarithm of 1, your answer will be 0. Anytime your argument's 1, the answer is 0. But if you want to check it out, that's fine. Type in log of 1, enter, um, divided by log of 2, enter, and you will get 0. Okay. All right, moving on to um, number 3. Our substitute 3 in for x, so we'll put a 3 right here for x. So we have log base 2 of 2, because 3 minus 1 is 2. Well, guys, we know a shortcut for this one, too. Whenever these two numbers match, your answer is the exponent. My exponent's 1, so my answer is just 1. However, if you want to check that out on your own, that's fine. Um, type into your calculator, log of 2, enter. Um, divided by log of 2, enter, and you will get 1. Okay. All right, moving on to uh, substituting 5 in for x. And I did not mean to put that 4. That one right there. There we go. All right, let's substitute 4 in for x. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Log base 2 of 3. So log 3, enter, divided by log of 2, enter, 1.6. And then lastly, we'll substitute 5 in for x. 5 minus 1 is 4. So log base 2 of 4. So log 4, enter, divided by log of 2, enter. And we get 2 exactly, all right? And so here we go. We're ready to graph this. Let's pull this up here and get some room. And here we go. My first order pair is 1.1 and down negative 3.3, so about right here. My next point is 2, 0. My next point is 3, 1. Next point is 4, 1.6. And then 5, 2. So this one's going up a little quicker than the other ones I have, which is fine. And it's coming down here. And it's going to hit this point here and continue to get closer and closer to the asymptote, but never cross it. Okay, guys, I hope you're getting this. One more problem, and we're finished, okay? And here we go. Step one is to take your argument, set it equal to 0, and solve. So x equals negative 2. Okay, so that's my vertical asymptote. So let's put that vertical asymptote on there at negative 2. There it is, negative 2. There we go. And let's go ahead and group this here and move that down. Alright, so my asymptote is at negative 2. I'm either 
are going to go to the right, which is negative 1, or go to the left, which is negative 3. Now think about it, guys. If you put negative 3 in, you're going to get out a negative number for your argument. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. You can't take the, the logarithm of a negative number. So obviously I'm going to go to the right. So my graph will be over here to the right. Okay, And that's happened a lot in your homework. That's just a coincidence there. Are graphs to the left also. Okay, All right. So let's just kind of slide that over for a second. Get this down here. Erase this. And let's get to work here. Okay. All right. Now, so the number, if my, if I'm going to go to the right, I'm going to have to go barely past. Here's negative. Don't think about this is negative 1, negative 2. So don't, please don't put negative 2.1, guys. Where would negative 2.1 be? Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 2.1 would be over here on this side of the asymptote. Okay? It's not negative 2.1. It's negative 1, negative 1.9. Negative 1.9 is right next to the asymptote, negative 1. If you go to negative 2, you've gone too far, so go back up a little bit, negative 1.9. Now, next would be negative 1, and then 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So negative 1, then 0, then 1, then 2. Just remember, you're working to the right. Okay? So if you're at negative 2 and you barely go to the right, that's negative 1.9. Alright, now, here we go. Let's substitute negative 1.9 in. Okay, so negative, negative 1.9. Well, I would have the logarithm base 3 of 0.1 because negative 1.9 plus 2 is 0.1. So log 0.1, enter, divided by log of 3, enter, negative 2.1. Next, I'm going to put negative 1 in for x, negative 1. So if I put a negative 1 in here, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So log base 3 of 1. Well, guys, remember, anytime your argument's 1, your answer is 0. Okay, now if you want to test that, it's fine. Log of 1, enter, divided by log of 3, enter, and you will get 0. All right, moving on now to putting a 0 in for x. So 0 plus 2 is 2, so my argument is 2. Log base 3 of 2. You can put parentheses if you want. You don't have to, so I'll just put a 2. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to type in log 2, enter, divided by log 3, enter, and I'm going to get 0 0.63. 0 0.63. All right, let's substitute um, 1 in for x. So I have 1 plus 2, which is 3. So log base 3 of 3. Now we know when these numbers here match. Your answer is the exponent, which is 1. Okay, so your answer is 1. However, if you want to type this in, feel free to. Log of 3, enter, divided by log of 3, enter, which is 1. Now we're going to substitute our last value in, which is 2. So we'll put a 2 in for x. 2 plus 2 is 4. So my argument is 4. So log base 3 of 4. So type in log 4, enter, divided by log 3, enter, and you will get 1.3. So guys, I think we're ready to go ahead and sketch the graph and be done with this homework assignment, okay? Let's pull this up and let's make it a little bigger so we can see the values a little better. That's good enough. And here we go. All right, um, negative 1.9, negative 2.1, so probably about right there, all right? And then negative 1, 0, and then 0, 0.63, and then 1, 1, and then over 2, up 1.3. So we're going to come up, hit this here, and get that little curve going on like that. And then come down and like that. Okay, guys, I really hope this is making sense to you, okay? If you have any, I hope this homework video has been a help to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or email.